Francisco Stadium in Curacao. Welcome into the broadcast. My name is Michael Minnick. Thank you so much for spending part of your Saturday with us here. It is warm and it is windy here in Curacao. 87 degrees with a 30% chance of rain, although the skies have mostly been blue, as you can see. But that wind will be a factor. 24 miles an hour entering into kickoff. Trinidad and Tobago have already taken care of business today. They beat the Cayman Islands 3 to nothing, getting two goals and an assist from Talia Martin to top the group. Puerto Rico and Guadalupe will try and join them on three points after one match day here in Group D. Should be a really good one here as both teams try and move into that top spot. Again, one team advances out of each group, out of the six groups, to win the USA and Mexico in the final eight with three spots in the 2024 under 20 Women's World Cup on the line as we count down to kickoff here in Curacao. This will be the second match of today, the CONCACAF a Women's Under-20 Qualifiers match between Puerto Rico and Guadalupe. We please ask you to please stand as we listen to the national anthem of Puerto Rico.
Chris Lumen Channing as we now listen to the national anthem of Guadeloupe. National anthems have concluded here. We're ready to play 90 minutes between Puerto Rico and Guadeloupe here in the second game of Group D here in Curacao. Trinidad and Tobago won the early game. Three to nothing if you're just joining us. The two teams trying to join them on three points. Again, that driver's seat's so important. Second, third, and fourth gets you nowhere. First place advances you to the final round of eight. There'll be two groups of four in that final round. Top two in those groups advance. To play semifinal to decide who will go to the under 20 Women's World Cup in 2024. Team photo time and a historical one for Guadeloupe. Their first U20 CONCACAF qualifying match ever. Here's Puerto Rico's lineup to try and recapture their success from two years ago. They have two starters back from that team, including the captain, Estefania Gonzalez. Alonja Iriarte will start in goal, joined by Grace Burns, Maya Burt, Sofia Colon Gonzalez, Jessica Torres, as the other returner. Madison Krakauer also up front. Officials for this one, Merlin Vanessa Soto for Honduras with two ARs from the United States, Salma Perez and Cowie Smith. Melissa Borjas Pastrana from Honduras is today's fourth official meeting with the captains. Estefania Gonzalez for Puerto Rico and Sergina Lubli for Guatemala. Exchange of banners, that'll be a keepsake for both of those players in both of these countries. Final huddle for Puerto Rico before kickoff. You can see them getting fired up for this match and it will be a bit cooler as the sun sets than it was for the first match which was played in the heat of the afternoon at 87 degrees. Here's the lineup for Guadalupe. Sephora Cabarras will get the nod and goal. Then C. Maurice, Sinley Devrande, Sarane Gustarimak, the captain Sergina Lubli, Letitia Eschard, Mallory Heinegan, Mamithi Baronian, Hordani Capri, Kellen San Marc, and Cindy Taliot. The squad picked today by Cedric Montpierre. Wendy Espiha is the coach of Puerto Rico. Those are the teams. That's the scene here in Curacao for the second game of Group D. Guadalupe breaking their huddle, wearing the all green. Pretty fluorescent boots there as well for the Guadalupe regulars. We saw pinks and oranges in the anthem lines as well. Let's we'll look at Roman Vanessa Soto, our center official for this one. And it's a grind here, a quick grind. Three games in five days for both of these teams. Monday will be match day two in Group D, followed by the final decisive day on Wednesday. The moment has nearly arrived here in Curacao to kick off Group D. We are just about ready to get rolling. Check of the watch for Vanessa Soto and we are underway in the second game of day one of Group D. Puerto Rico in the whites going from left to right. Guadalupe on the ball now, heading from right to left. My name is Michael Minnick. Thank you so much for joining us here for this one. Throw in on the way here for Guadalupe. And again, as the least experienced team of the two, a quick start to settle in would be more than welcome for the team in green. Sofia Colon Gonzalez losing the ball for Puerto Rico. Devrande on the ball, playing it in for Guadalupe. Here's the turnout throw for Madison Krakauer. The University of Maryland commit loses the ball. Ball now slid through, flag is up 
Offside the call on Guadalupe's Letitia Etchard towards FC club player. And a free kick for Puerto Rico. Again, that run for the last cycle kind of came out of nowhere. Puerto Rico had only competed in one qualifying cycle before that, getting to the round of 16 in 2020. They built on it with that semifinal run two years ago, losing in the semis to the United States and then the third place match to Canada. Canada grabbing the third and final spot in the 2022 U20 Women's World Cup. Early shot, one hop off the left foot of Mallory Hannigan into the gloves of Iriarte. Early ball over the top. And the flag is up this time on Puerto Rico. Free kick for Guadalupe on the way. see there from the AR on the near side the wind is going to be a factor in this one first game between Trinidad and Tobago in the Cayman Islands we saw goalkeepers have to tip free kicks over the bar that were taken out from a, a place that would be deeper than we normally take one because you were getting the wind at your back and then also we saw distribution an issue punts goal kicks losing some of that momentum they normally get on a clean windless day Another free kick this time coming the way of Puerto Rico. Played in the center of the park for the captain, Estefania Gonzalez. Again, one of the two starters back from that fourth place team. Early shot comes in low and is easily handled. Etchard with the shot, Iriarte with the save once again. Stolen in the middle of the park. By Puerto Rico. McMahon will steal Ashley McMahon. Vivrande playing it up the side. The captain Lubli will try again. Ball comes to the left side for Etchard. Cut out for a throw in. Talia will take the throw in, one of a couple of players who won their trade with Sirocco. Ball comes left. It's Torres for Puerto Rico. She'll try again. Force back this time. Colon Gonzalez. Combination right with Ashley McMahon. Up it comes now for Madison Krakauer. Colon Gonzalez serving the early ball in. Goalkeeper Cabarrus thought about coming, did it, and now maybe we'll regret that decision, although the foul will go against Puerto Rico. This was intended there on the service for Ashley and McMahon. One of two players along with Grace Burns in the starting lineup who play high school soccer in the state of New York. Good save there coming out from Cabarrus. La Resistance is her club. What a great club name for a goalkeeper. La Resistance. Out for a throw in. Colon Gonzalez. Loses the handle though. It's just thrown in by Taliot. Lubli, the captain, goes right. Pass inside, gets through, cleaned out by Puerto Rico. Good direct ball to find the target forward, Kennedy Garcia, University of Alabama player in the United States. Ball cleared up the sideline, given back to Puerto Rico. Cross in towards the middle, headed away. Well intervened there by Copri for Guadalupe.
Colon Gonzalez. McMahon. Stolen away by DeVrande. Space to run now for Etchard up the middle. Gets back on her left foot. Has her shot blocked. Still live at the top of the box. Volleyed back. Cleaned up by Puerto Rico. Pass up the line off the mark. Throw in for Guadalupe. Already seen some good work from both teams, some combinations, some inventive ideas and attack. Talia will take the throw. Volleyed back by DeVrande. Jessica Torres for Puerto Rico. Pass inside. Laid off nicely. Chance for a shot here, and that was always going over the bar. Right-footed attempt there from Anasia Colon. Here's some State University player. Capri will start the attack, finding the engine of Lubli, the captain. Dispossessed, though. Step over move. Shot wide there from Krakauer. There was a lot of the far post open there. But Krakauer couldn't get her hips turned enough to angle that one and shot it high. Veras was basically hugging that near post. So there was a lot of space to the right of her. If Krakauer could have directed that one on target. Combination again from Puerto Rico on the left side. Still alive at the top of the box. Laid back now for Colon. And Nasia Colon lays it off. Shot from deep is blocked. It'll fall for Sofia Colon Gonzalez. Her cross is also blocked out by Taliat. Throw in for Puerto Rico. Guadalupe started this game with some possession, but Puerto Rico has been the front foot for the last five or six minutes. Cross from Colon Gonzalez. Just again partially cleared by Guadalupe. One in the back by Maya Burnt for Puerto Rico. And all the way back, Iriarte in her own 18. Gonzalez. Chip over the top into a dangerous area. Flicked on by the head and McMahon is offside. Certainly was some space there for Puerto Rico to build something promising and attack before the flag went up. An early ball might be on if Guadalupe plays this flat line so high. Once again, Guadalupe will look to build from the back. Hind again. Kalan St. Mark, fighting Lubli. Inside, turn and shot there from Bironian. And then a second attempt wide. Riarte wants to go quickly. Both these teams like that short pass, build it out of the back style. We'll see who can execute it better through 90 minutes here in Curaçao. Group D opener for both of these teams, Trinidad and Tobago. Tops the group after a 3-0 win earlier today over the Cayman Islands here in Curaçao. Four team group, round robin, so each team will play three matches. Match day two is Monday, match day three is Wednesday. A lot of soccer in a short period of time for these young legs. Chance here, oh, that was on, and then it was off as the pass came through. Guadalupe saw the danger and closed it out. But for a second there, there was daylight, had that first touch been clean for a ball through. Early cross in, header over the head of McMahon. Retrieved on the right side. 
versus Krakauer. Turn denied by some good defensive work there from Maya Burnt for Puerto Rico. Colon Gonzalez has been on the ball a lot. And you know the park it comes for the captain Estefania Gonzalez. Ball over the top will sit nicely on that right side. Early cross from Krakauer towards the far post and knocked in. Puerto Rico has taken the lead in the 12th minute. The cross from the far post. All you needed to do was get a little bit of contact on it, and that's exactly what Puerto Rico did. Krakauer. Played a nice ball in, crashing at the far post. Puerto Rico has taken the lead early. A strong start from Guadalupe. Krakauer crossed the ball. She's being credited with the goal. Might have been over the line before it was knocked in, that final touch. Showing for it is Kennedy Garcia. So it was either Krakauer's goal if the cross went in directly or Garcia's if the tap-in was the touch that got it over the line. Ball played in. Not decisively cleared by Guadalupe on the first try. Second try is much better. Puerto Rico getting more and more control of this match as we go on. Up one to nothing. Colon Gonzalez. Guadalupe just can't clear their lines. Possession back on the right side to McMahon for Krakauer. It's kind of a two minds there about what touch she wanted to use and lost possession. This is the pass that Guadalupe has struggled to connect in the last few minutes. That pass out of the defensive midfield Puerto Rico has really closed down the passing angle as well and do so again here. in short. Taken away this time by Guadalupe. Ball played forward. Now they'll go the direct route. Here we are, taste solid all the way. Gonzalez going deep. Can't take out Colon Gonzalez, and it will be a throw for Guadalupe. Copri wearing the rec specs to help with her vision. Talia will hoist it up the line, give possession right away to Puerto Rico. Ashley McMahon fighting for it, winning it back for Puerto Rico. Estefania Gonzalez. Get the ball in the center from Colon Gonzalez. Estefania Gonzalez loses the handle, tackles to try and win it back, and finally does so. Burnt. We'll work it back to the goal kick, Uriarte. Puerto Rico will build again. Again, Guadalupe did a nice job in the first few minutes getting some penetrating possession, but Puerto Rico's had their foot on the ball for most of the game since, including the goal coming in the 11th minute. Credited to Krakauer, we'll see if it was Krakauer or Garcia that got the final touch over the line. Man, can't get a 
touch there. Valiant's toss, headed out by Puerto Rico. Touched on by Krakauer. Through ball deflected, nearly picked off there coming through from Jessica Torres. Good pressure here from Puerto Rico, forces the ball back. So Cabarrus will play it right. Hannigan lays it off for Lubli. Pass there intended for, for Edgehart was picked off. Edgehart had a couple good touches earlier, but has not been able to get much service in the last 15 minutes. Kind of falls apart there for Puerto Rico. Edgehart. Whistle against Puerto Rico and a free kick and a good spot for Guadalupe drawn by Etchard, the Tours FC player. Magic spray works on the second try for Merlin Vanessa Soto, our official. Etcher drew the foul. She'll take the free kick here in the 18th minute. Strikes it left footed off the wall. Gets a second look at it. Broken up well by pressure from Puerto Rico. And now there's space to counter. Early ball played through. Beautifully weighted. Goalkeeper off her line. Gets by her. Chance now to finish and blocked. Huge block there coming back from Guadalupe to deny the chance inside for Kennedy Garcia. Puerto Rico will bring Gonzalez and some of their taller players forward for this set piece. Service comes in from Krakauer. Towards the far post, goalkeeper punches. Still loose in the box. Second chance volleyed in high and wide. Grace Burns was the player that took the second shot for Puerto Rico. Pinned to their own end, has to have to go long, and usually when they've had to do that, they've lost possession. Krakauer in a good spot in the middle. First touch is heavy, though, and possession given back away. Passes off the mark intended there for Ashley McMahon and out for a throw in. Dietrich Montpierre yelling out instructions. back there was not saved by Colon Gonzalez throw coming for Guadalupe here in the 21st minute difference coming in the 11th minute crack hours cross towards Kennedy Garcia went in Goal coming in a spell of good play from Puerto Rico justly rewarded for their hard work with the goal Angle there, Garcia fouling the captain, Lubli. Free kick for Guadalupe. Soto says, hang on a second. Warns Kennedy Garcia.
Ball into space now. DeVrande on her right foot, plays it across with her left. Easily cleaned up by Puerto Rico. And out for a throw in. Ashley McMahon winning that header. Looks like the cameraman knew the ball was coming her, coming her way. Early shot will go wide from Lubli. Ariarte will once again go short off the goal kick. Early ball up that left wing. Turned over. Laid off now for Krakauer. He's moving to a more central role after popping up on that right wing to play the cross in for the first goal. So much of Guadalupe's attack depends on that pivot with Lubli. She'll find a teammate on the right. She calls for it, gets it in the center of the park, turns up field. Long pass is deflected. Cologne. And I'll see a Cologne. Her pass forward. Ustarimak, firing it forward for Guadalupe. Lubli. Theronian in the middle, two on two now for Guadalupe as they try and get a goal back here. Well defended by Puerto Rico, forcing them back. Etchard. Good combination here from Guadalupe, ending up in a chance at the top of the box. Trying to work it onto the left foot is Etcher. Gets the cross off towards the sixth. First ball is knocked down, second ball. Bounced over the top off balance from DeVrande. Guadalupe starting to settle in a bit more. That was certainly their best spell of possession in the first 23 and a half minutes of this one. We'll look at what Etchard was able to develop there. Initial ball was cut out by Abigail Seawright and then blasted over. What Guadalupe's done better the last few minutes is deny that second pass out of midfield. They've given up the first pass in the box and then they've closed down better that ball towards midfield. Theronian thought about the shot. Nice work inside. Takes a tumble at the top of the box. Soto says no. We play on. No foul called. Really good work there to wriggle into that space from Guadalupe. Again, it's been a lot better for them the last few minutes. Foul there. Called on Baronian. Message from Soto, the Honduran referee. Ball not cleared. Well, it's Jessica Torres back into the play. She fights for it, wins it on the edge of the box, plays it back, cross towards the far side. Ball's now at the feet of Krakauer, juggles it for herself. DeVrande gets a foot in. Still battling for it is Madison Krakauer for Puerto Rico. And Guadalupe will just whack it clear in the end. Immediate pressure on the Puerto Rico back four. Creates possession now for Etchard. But working 1v4, she can't make anything happen. Colon Gonzalez picks out Kennedy Garcia. Laid into space now for Krakauer. First time cross in low. Well handled by Cabarrus, the goalkeeper. Was well positioned for that cross. Immediately fell on it, no rebound, no problem. But awkward roll there <laughs> to back.
bounce it to St. Mark. Turned over. Garcia with the rip. Ferris makes the catch on the edge of her six. Again, looking to punt quickly. Well distributed. Puerto Rico wins it back. Gonzalez. Colon Gonzalez, early ball. Unable to get a flick on that one was the center forward Garcia. We see a couple minutes for Cabarrus. Stolen right back in midfield by Puerto Rico. That's Stefania Gonzalez, but the captain can't find the teammate in white. Early ball up the left side. Better safe than sorry clearance out there from Lindsay Maurice, and she takes the punishment for it. Touching her right knee. Call for the training staff here of Guadalupe here in the 28th minute. Second look at it. Extended long to try and knock that clear and then was contact on the way through. Spray that knee heavily. being helped to her feet. Good to see that she's feeling better. She'll walk gingerly towards that far sideline for more treatment. Still rubbing that right knee there with the blue pack. Seems to take the opportunity to get some fluids. We're turning back to their positions. See Maurice back on her feet on that far sideline. Looks like she's waiting to be waved back in. It'll be a corner kick to deal with though. Before that for Guadalupe. Taken by Madison Krakauer from the left side. It's be an in-swinging ball with her right foot. For Garcia, who's posted up on that near post as a likely target. Center backs are forward as well for Puerto Rico. Bent in towards the middle, gets through everybody. Will come out on the far side. Last touch by Puerto Rico. Grace Burns was the player that was trying to stretch and get that one out of her reach. And Puerto Rico's been able to get the likes of Burns and Gonzalez forward for these set pieces. Stalliot, broken up by Estefania Gonzalez is defending. Garcia, continuing on right, space again for Madison Krakauer, early cross in towards a couple of white shirts, chested down in the box, tangle there. The touch was heavy and it would be directed on goal as Jessica Torres broke through and Cabarrus made the save. And Krakauer's been a problem on that right wing with good early service. Almost a I got it, you take it situation there, right? Where Torres and Colon both could have taken that ball. It was Torres that took the final touch but couldn't direct it on goal. Garcia, 
crack hour. Beautiful weighted ball into space for Colon Gonzalez, but she can run it down, but she just can't. Crack hour is a problem to defend because she can drift wide, she can come inside. She's made herself really available for this Puerto Rico attack. McMahon, back for Colon Gar Gonzalez. Combination here to the right side. A little too heavy on the pass though, intended for McMahon. Back comes De Rande for Rande for Guadalupe out for a throw in. Midfield build up here from Puerto Rico again. Anasia Colon playing it inside. Stolen back. This is Ashley McMahon. Can't find a teammate in white though. Once again, Guadalupe unable to clear and a whistle here. Flag was up. It will be a free kick for Guadalupe. Guadalupe has looked good in stretches, but Puerto Rico has bossed this game. Taking the lead in the 11th minute. Again, we're not sure if it was a crack hour goal on the initial cross or if Garcia got the final touch receiving that cross to knock it over the line. Colon Gonzalez. McMahon. Switch towards the middle. Garcia. Bursting into the box, trying to turn, getting the shot. It's a great ball towards the far post, but the angle is just wrong. And Krakauer unable to guide that one on target, but what a thought and what a sight there from Garcia to try and play that cross. If it had been a step back, that would have been a tap in for Krakauer. Sliding off two defenders using her strength, turning nicely, getting the cross off one a dime and just out of the stride of crack hour. Puerto Rico snapping on that initial ball again, a whistle here. Free kick for Guadalupe will come here in the 34th minutes. Puerto Rico was second in their group in qualifying two years ago. And she's behind the United States, which ended up winning the CONCACAF qualifying. Dangerous ball back here. Cabarrus will not appreciate that, but she cleaned it up. Space to step here. Burnt though gives it away. Now the counter's on one on one for Guadalupe. Hetrid though, and fire wide. I believe the flag was up and it was. Maya Burt will slip the ball down, play it square. And Puerto Rico will build again with a one nothing lead. Burnt. Gonzalez gives it away. Counterattack a little slow in developing for Guadalupe. But they're still on the ball. Hind again. And one hop into the gloves of Iriarte. Do it short once again with the roll. Do it up now for Burnt. Just a ball betwixt and between two Puerto Ricans gives the ball back, but then turned right back over to Sofia Colon Gonzalez. Crack hour. Gonzalez. Switch of play now. Again, Guadalupe has done a better job in the last 15 or 20 minutes of not allowing that easy build up. Problem has been that middle third has really been controlled by Puerto Rico. Once they've gotten there, they've been able to transition and get Krakauer in particular in good positions wide. But 
Aronian. He maybe had the best Guadalupe chance of this first half. Divrande plays it back. All the way to Cabarrus. Under pressure here, nearly turns it over to Garcia. Space now on the left for Baronian to go to work. Good interjection there on a 2v1 to break it up for Puerto Rico. Guadalupe will give space in the center of the park. The combination doesn't work there for Puerto Rico as McMahon tried to lay it off for the run of Krakow and Krakow held her run. Garcia, shift back into the path of Garcia, but good read from Cabrera, saw it all the way, scoops it and rolls it. Early ball this time from Guadalupe into space, and now it's the turn of Iriarte, the Puerto Rican goalkeeper to make a read and come off her line. Burnt. And Guadalupe giving that space. Pouncing on the second ball. Krakauer turns it upfield nicely. Shuffles through one, plays it through. Gets a touch in there and the flag is up anyway. It was a nice job there by Gusta Rimac to get a touch in before the flag went up. Sama Perez and Cowie Smith have done a good job of being in, good, in the right position to raise the flag when it's been needed. Krakauer with the switch. Held up there by Torres. But nobody really there to help her on that far side and it's given away. Burnt. Pass forward by Ignacio Colon broken up. Puerto Rico will try again. Gonzalez the captain. Chip into space now. Brought down on the edge of the 18. Laid off now. First time shot comes in low and finds it in. Ignacio Colon perfectly striking that ball low and it sneaks in at the far post. Puerto Rico doubles its lead in the 40th minute. I really like the patience there from Garcia. She could have turned and taken that herself, but she calmly saw that she had help. It's a nice initial ball as well. See here, she looked, said, okay, I've got a teammate here, and a perfectly struck first time ball. May have kissed the post on the way through. And right before the half, Puerto Rico doubles its advantage. And again, in a group like this, story one is, well, what can you do in terms of a result? Can you win? Then it becomes a story of what can you do for your goal differential? Trinidad and Tobago able to put three past the Cayman Islands in the opener, so they would still lead the live table by one goal over Puerto Rico. Guadalupe has done some good things, but Puerto Rico has been very good in attack. Thinking maybe an illegal throw in there. Not one you see called terribly often, but I don't think the motion was a little bit jerky. Push there, cloned against Colon Gonzalez, gets a free kick away to Guadalupe. Chance for them to get some momentum back before the end of the half after Puerto Rico grabbed a second goal. This is what Puerto Rico did very well in qualifying two years ago, scoring eight goals in their three group matches. And they started out very similarly against the Dominican Republic. A goal in the 12th minute, 
and a goal in stoppage time in the first half to gain the lead. And then they held on and got a got a insurance goal in the second half to win that match three to one. So kind of the same formula in the group opener this year. Two nothing lead on Guadalupe here in the waning stages of the first half. Here in Curacao, all six group matches will be played here. Stadion Rignal Jean Francisca. Guadalupe will play Trinidad and Tobago at 3 p.m. on Monday. Then the Cayman Islands Puerto Rico match will cap the night at 6 p.m. on Monday. Final group day is Wednesday. Cayman Islands Guadalupe at 3. Puerto Rico Trinidad and Tobago, which as things stand right now, would be for first place in advancement. The final game of the group stage here in Group D, 6 p.m. on Wednesday from Willem Stad Curacao. We missed our first game. Cayman Islands played well, especially late in the first half, but several players had to be subbed off due to injury. So that is certainly a storyline with just one day's rest headed into the second day. How healthy will they be for Puerto Rico on Monday evening? Garcia will give possession away for this set piece. Giving away in midfield. Just seems like there's a disconnect between that front group and the, and the back group for Guadalupe. The midfield has not had much control of the last few minutes. Good step and win there though. Gonzalez. Burnt. Krakauer turns it over. Chance for Guadalupe to counter here. Early through ball. Played into the top of the box. Tangle there and just not able to get through there is Etchard who's been their most dangerous forward on the evening. Free kick and an excellent spot here in the 44th minute, drawn there by Taliot. So this is a spot where you can whip it in, shoot it yourself, or more likely cross it. The captain, Georgina Lubli, will eye this one against a four-player wall for Puerto Rico. Guadalupe has a forward on the goalkeeper, Iriarte, as well. Erwin Vanessa Soto talking to those players in the goal mouth, telling them to keep the contact to a minimum. She'll be watching. Whistle blows. What can Lube do in the winning stages of the first half to get her team back in the game? She's going to shoot it near post. Misses the target, was that deflected? It was. It'll be a corner. Guadalupe's gonna have to hurry a little bit here. I can't imagine we're gonna have a ton of stoppage time. Two goals and one decent injury delay. Corner will be taken by, it's a free kick again. Corner will be taken by Etchard. Lefty ball. Bent in, Wynn gets that one a little bit, headed away cleanly by Puerto Rico. Second ball will be shot on goal, and that wasn't too far over from the right foot of Capri. The Edgar Davids-esque Rex Specs. One minute of stoppage time, we're halfway through it already. Here in Curacao, Puerto Rico leading two nothing. A little sloppy there in midfield for Puerto Rico to turn it over. Definitely has been a better pace to this game in the first one. You can attribute that, I'm sure, somewhat to the fact that it's not 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's not going to be quite as onerous to play in clouds and shade and approaching darkness than it was in the middle of the afternoon in Curacao. That'll 
That'll be the final touch of this first half. So goals officially credited to Madison Krakauer and Anasia Colon have Puerto Rico in the driver's seat here against Guadalupe, two to nothing here at the break in Curse. I will step aside for just a minute here on the first day of Group D qualifying here in the U-20 competition.
Another change for Puerto Rico. They took off Sofia Colon Gonzalez and brought on Fabiola Martinez. So interesting moves to take off two of the players that were the better ones for Puerto Rico. I don't think you saw any injuries to those two, so I imagine it's, it's half an eye on, we're playing three games in five days, let's rotate the squad as best we can. We've got a two goal lead. It's a little bit of a risk, but I think it's one that if Puerto Rico wants to win this tournament, it's one they might have to take, because the way things have come out on day one, and again, a lot can happen, teams can adjust. It looks like Puerto Rico and Trinidad and Tobago are on a collision course to the third match day Wednesday at six o'clock to decide this group. But again, it's early. So those are the two teams in control through a game and a half here on Group D. One player that's still one and has played excellent is the player on the ball now, Kennedy Garcia, playing it across. First time shot is blocked, second shot falls into the gloves of Cabarrus. Good run coming through from Puerto Rico's Anasia Colon, who scored the second goal in the 39th minute. Stolen away, early ball played by Garcia. First time shot, blocked by the goalkeeper, rebound still loose, volleyed wide, may have been deflected off the left foot of Kennedy Garcia, and it is clean through for a goal kick. Sarah Susanna Roberts, who just came on at the half for Puerto Rico. Crack hour spot on the left side of that attack. Structure, it looks like Puerto Rico's kind of got Garcia as that lone forward and then three players in behind her. Sensible with the ability they've had to get some joy wide that they would double down on that and also it gives you a little bit more of a defensive look if you're kind of playing that one striker, a little bit more quicker adjustment for those three players to come back and defend if they need to. Grace Burns combining on that left side, winning a throw in. Worked nicely there with Anasia Colon. Burns from World Class FC, that's her club. That again for a throw in. Appeal there from the substitute Kenzi, Kenza Valeri, but it should have been Guadalupe ball and she'll get her wish. Susanna Roberts. Trying to get the layoff pass there and apologies given by Kennedy Garcia for not making that touch precise enough to find her teammate Roberts. Hard work again from Garcia, gets the cross towards the middle, it's blocked. And cleared forward by DeVrande. Gonzalez, the captain, playing it for McMahon. Right side of the pass, though, intercepted by Guadalupe. Burns showing for it. blocked by the efforts from Baronian, who had some good moments in the attack for Guadalupe, number 11. Burns, Gonzalez, early ball, blocked towards the near sideline, and it'll knuckle up for a throw in deep for Puerto Rico. Lorraine Capri. Early shot deflected and that will go just wide. Took a wicked hop off a defender and 
the floor. Cabarrus will be glad to see that one go off a Puerto Rico player, especially in wide. Another excellent hit from Cologne, who has scored a goal already today. Pocket picked in midfield by the captain, Gonzalez. Gets it back, goes down in a heap and draws the free kick. Stefania Gonzalez. One of two players who returns that started in the third place match and semi-final of the 2022 qualifying process that saw Puerto Rico finish fourth, their best ever. Guadalupe in their first ever under 20 women's World Cup qualifying match. They've given a good account of themselves. Puerto Rico certainly has been the better side on the night. Stefania Gonzalez wants to take this one herself. Three player wall in front of Cabarrus who's making herself big in goal. Referee Mer Merlin Vanessa Soto blows this one live. Gonzalez will strike a beautiful bending ball and what a free kick goal to make it three nothing. Take a bow, that's Stefania Gonzalez. Wow. All smiles, her bench is celebrating, her teammates are going nuts too. Take a look at this beauty. <laughs> 52nd minute, what a way to take a three nothing lead. And again, we're now even on goal difference as well. Puerto Rico and Trinidad and Tobago both plus three on the first day of Group D. Can Puerto Rico add a fourth? They're certainly pushing for it. That's gonna be one of the goals of the tournament, you would think. Perfectly struck free kick, and again, Gonzalez drew the foul. That just puts a cherry on top. Draw it, finish it yourself. Puerto Rico switched out two of their attackers at the half. They have not missed a beat here in the second half. They've been on the front foot, putting more and more pressure on Guadalupe as this match continues. Nothing that Cabarrus could have done with that one. <laughs> Struck beautifully into the top corner off the boot of Estefania Gonzalez. Turnover in the back though. Bad news for Guadalupe though is that the player making the run is hobbled. Shot taken and blocked. Second look also blocked and cleared. Baronian had broken through, but again, her helper there, Ashard, was limping and wasn't really able to make the run that she normally would have been able to make. So it was up to Baronian to do it on her own, and she very nearly did. Now the possession switched over. They'll check on the injured player in the box. Good response from Guadalupe, but at what price? An injury to Baronian, who's been maybe their most lively attacker on the evening. Tornally stretched out by the goalkeeper Iriarte. Now they will call for the trainer to look at her. Remithi Baronian. U.S. Bayi Mahalt's her club. Spray, getting a bottle of water, trying to recover and limping back to her feet. Again, you can see the bow for the attack. She already was limping, tried to gut through it because the chance was so golden for her team, but as soon as it fell apart, she went down to the ground to get treatment, as she should. This one's play was halted with Puerto Rico in possession. The ball will be dropped at their feet, and we'll resume here in the 55th minute. Garcia in the 12th, Cologne in the 39th, Gonzalez with a beautiful free kick in the 52nd. Puerto Rico leading 3 0. Really, all three goals have been well taken. The first goal from Garcia, she was in the right place at the right time to get a body on a cross on Madison Krakauer. Then Cologne striking beautifully off an assist from Garcia. And then Gonzalez burying a free kick. Formula for success for Puerto Rico. Guadalupe has 
created chances, but really have not forced a big save out of Iriarte in the Puerto Rico goal just yet. Deflection, one in the back by Guadalupe and Gusta Remock. <laughs> Abigail C. Wright for Puerto Rico. Time and space being given here. Walked up by Maya Burnt. Combination on the right side for Puerto Rico. Gonzalez. Combining with Garcia. The one two pass for Garcia in the box. Goes down, tries to win the ball. Second chance now for Cologne, who combines so well with Garcia. Her shot is blocked, and she'll win a corner for her troubles. the encouragement there from Saran Gusta Remock. Number five in green. Guadalupe trying to put a finger in the dam here. Keep it at three nothing by defending the set piece. Served in towards the far post, headed high and wide. Over the fence. <laughs> Big round of applause here and justifiably so. Kennedy Garcia, excellent on the day with a goal and an assist. She would apart for Jocelyn Shanea. The change for Guadalupe, it will be Anel Jasmine coming on. Let's see Maurice will make way. So both teams have now used three subs. And again, I'll go back to the preservation aspect of this. Puerto Rico is up 3 nothing, and they're getting 45 minutes of rest for Colon Gonzalez, 45 minutes of rest for Krakauer, and about 33 minutes of rest for Garcia. Three players they will need to make a deep run, not only in this tournament, but if they can get out of this group in the final eight as well. Final round. We'll start May 24th in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, run through June 3rd. It'll be an 18-group stage. USA and Mexico have already punched their tickets. They'll be joined by the six group winners from this round of qualifying. Two groups of four, top two in each group advance. The semifinals, and then if you win your semifinal, you're guaranteed a spawn in the Under-20 Women's World Cup. If you lose that semifinal, like Puerto Rico did in the last cycle, and you have to play that third place game to decide who gets the third and final spot. Well covered by Cabarrus on the shot. Fields expanded this year for the U20 Women's World Cup, by the way. It'll be 24 teams in 2024 con contesting that instead of 16. Good to see. The opportunity is a mirror at the senior level with more spots in the Australia New Zealand Women's World Cup coming up this summer. Can't wait for that at the senior level. Maybe these players will be playing at the senior level here very soon. Turn and go now for Guadalupe. Early ball it comes to nothing. It's been a while since Iriarte has had a touch. She'll get one here. That was a needless punt there. Just throw that out. That was the one just to roll it out there to her. Guadalupe will try to make her pay, but can't. Shot over the bar from Baronian. Good to see Etchert moving better, by the way. After taking a knock earlier, as did Baronian. Again, it'll be Guadalupe Trinidad and Tobago at 3 p.m. on Monday. Cayman Islands Puerto Rico at 6 p.m. on Monday. As things stand now, it would be a team on three points versus a team on zero points in both of those matches. 
And then Tobago having taken care of Cayman Islands 3-0 in a game that was good. It was 1-0 at the half. Cayman Islands nearly equalized before the half. And then added to midway through the second half to salt the game away. What a save. Great reaction save from Iriarte. That was the best chance in the match that came from the captain. Lubli coming in on the volley. Tremendous save from Rolanda Iriarte. And Trigger will take the corner from the left side off that great save. Serves another beauty in, and that's headed wide. This time intended for the substitution made early in the second half. Henniel Jasmine. That piece is excellent for Guadalupe. Two really good balls served in. It may have been, once again, Lubli, the shortest player on the field probably, getting her head to it. You're in the right place at the right time. It doesn't matter how big you are. Lubli, growing into this game a little bit. Chance now to counter for Puerto Rico off the turnover. Taking that space forward is Grace Burns. Flag is up on that far side. You just saw the body language. And the frustration there from Puerto Rico is Susanna Roberts was denied by the flag. Roberts blocking that clearance. Now she's hot on the heels and will win the ball. Roberts in the box, working towards the near post. Playing it across, it's deflected. And finally cleared just about off the line. Rowan will come from Puerto Rico. That ball was moving slowly, but <laughs> painfully slow for both teams as Puerto Rico couldn't get anybody to the end of it. And Guadalupe, all they could do was watch there for a few seconds as it crept towards the goal line. Give it away. Gonzalez, who scored a tremendous free kick goal, will pass it on. Left. Space for Grace Burns. The team went up. She will. Best one by a couple players. And then weakly hit in and saved by Cabarrus. Garcia in the 12th. Cologne assisted by Garcia in the 39th. And a free kick from Gonzalez in the 52nd minute. The story here is Puerto Rico leads Guadalupe 3 to nothing here in Curacao. Second game of day one in Group D. Trinidad and Tobago. Already 3 nothing winners. They are currently tied with Puerto Rico atop the group, plus three on Golden Frenchia with three points. Puerto Rico would love to add a fourth, take first place outright, because again, that could come down to it. If you both win on the first two days and then you tie on the third day, who moves on and whose run is over will be depending on that goal differential. Gonzalez is fouled. Again, one of those players trying to build on the experience of being part of this Puerto Rico group that finished fourth in qualifying last cycle. Just missed out on the Women's World Cup at the under 20 level. Throw in, and we'll see another change here for Guadalupe. It's Elsa Merlat. Merlat will come on for Culpri. Fourth change made by Guadalupe in this match. Confirmation of the change, Mauro Otto in. Looks like more of an attacking sub for Guadalupe as they try and get one back. Again, Golden Frenchman battles for them too. They'd love to get one back here and move into third rather than a tie for last in the group entering the second match day. Etchard's been active. She'll try the left-footed shot here. Couldn't get the bend on it, though. And it goes wide. She was probably in the conversation with Lubli, who's been active in the second half of the best player on the attack for Guadalupe today. Veronian has been good as well. But still searching for that breakthrough. Iriarte made a great save a few minutes ago off of a corner kick. 
to keep the shutout. Hasn't been tested too much in run of play, but those two set pieces had some bite to them for Guadalupe. On comes Cabarrus to cover. Again, content just to possess here. Working among their center backs. Knocked forward. Put down by a couple of headers. From Chinea. That's by Chene. It will be a throw. And we'll have another substitution here in the 67th minute. It'll be for Puerto Rico. McMahon will make way. We'll see Peyton Cunones for the first time. Confirmation of that McMahon was very active in the first half. That midfield combined well with. Her club teammate Grace Burns, as well as Krakauer and Garcia. And then Maya Burnt will make way. Aaron Smith comes on. So again, saving some legs, getting a defender that you need off and burnt. Getting Smith a run for the last 23 and minutes and change of this one. Five changes made by Puerto Rico, four by Guadalupe. As the shot goes wide from Grace Burns. <laughs> Little smile from her. <laughs> hey, if you're a defender and you got an option to shoot, why not shoot the ball, right? Tries the subs over the PA, confirming what we saw. Give away in midfield to Gonzalez. Fresh legs of Fabiola Martinez. Tripped up there, loses possession. Chance to run now for Baronian. Something here for, Mar for Guadalupe, but the pass is deflected. Cologne has scored the second goal of the day in the 39th minute for Puerto Rico. Really nicely slotted low shot that pinged the post on the way in. Gonzalez with a smile as she's whistled for the foul against her fellow captain, Lubli. I like what Lubli has done. She really is a nice facilitator in that midfield, comes back to show for the ball, start the attack. And then showed some bite coming forward, especially on set pieces as well. It's like a 50-50 challenge to me. Two midfielders fighting for the ball, but as often happens, the taller player, the bigger player is the one that's called for the foul. Beautifully weighted ball from Gonzalez. Something brewing here from Puerto Rico on the far side, and they will get a corner for their troubles. Run forward there from Fabiola Martinez. She'll leave it for Colon to take the corner kick. Puerto Rico trying to take first place in the group and go differential. Plus three, they're even with Trinidad and Tobago right now. Lost it in towards the penalty spot. Immediately hands up from both teams. It will be a foul. After the contact on the goalkeeper, Cabarrus. Being a goalkeeper is not for wimps. A lot of contact, a lot of danger. All that there went in on Gonzalez to try and block that one.
she's able to continue. That's good to see. Fire one here from Puerto Rico to pressure and spool it up out of the back. Whistle here on a free kick. Able to push one Jasmine. away in the middle. It's Chinea for Puerto Rico. Ball through. Good job by the goalkeeper Cabarrus to come out and get it. Good sportsmanship there. Handshake there is Roberts for Puerto Rico and Valeri for Guadalupe tried to play that cross. Lefty punt towards midfield. One by Gonzalez who's been ever present. Chip towards the left side. Volleyed out for a throw in for Puerto Rico. Comes up. Valeri gets some busy since coming on to this game. Burns. Stolen away. This is Baronian. Giving it right back. Quinones. down behind the play as Puerto Rico attacks up that right side. Ball comes in low. Quinone is trying to turn and not enough to stop that one from Cabarrus. Good turn and finish. It was Chinea actually with the goal. Johnson and Chinea making it 4-0. And again, that's big. Puts Puerto Rico on top of the group on goal difference. Nice Bursting run down the right side from their veteran Torres. Lots of space, too much space for Chinea, and she punishes the Guadalupe defense. Jocelyn Chinea, Tampa Bay University player. Big smile from her as she adds a fourth to her team's and total. And gentlemen, in the 73rd minute of the match, the fourth goal for the team of Puerto Rico. Your goal scorer is number 18. This day has gone according to plan for Puerto Rico. Four goals on the board. They've been able to rest some of their stalwarts in midfield and attack. Keep them fresh for this three match in five day experience. That is the CONCACAF Women's Under 20 Championship qualifying. of Chinea's goal coming in the 73rd minute for Puerto Rico. Some awkward low bridge there and Chinea not happy that call went against her. Now she'll check on her opponent. Awkward timing in that challenge on Baral for Guadalupe. And that's what she's signaling. She's saying you you low bridged her there and now a laugh. It's good to see between Chinea and Merlin Vanessa Soto, our official. You can't have fun while I do this, right? Garcia in the 12th, Cologne in the 39th, Gonzalez, a free kick you'll want to see if you haven't seen it already in the 52nd. Chinea in the 73rd, Puerto Rico to a running start here in under 20 qualifying. They're going to get the stretcher now, not good to see for Baral, the player that's down. Able to put much weight on that left foot. 
We are standing normally now, though. John Wynn of Malta should be able to continue, unfortunately, for Guadeloupe. Only four field players available as subs remaining. Quiha Massard, Malika Moray, Lea Treffel, and Kicha Monshador. Only one backup goalkeeper, by the way, on the bench for Guadeloupe. That's Leanne Fonau. Morong will be helped off here in the 76th minute. More bad news on the day of the Guadeloupe. Hasn't played poorly. Puerto Rico has been clinical in front of goal. That was one of the big differences between I think what we saw in the first match for Trinidad and Tobago and Puerto Rico here in the second match. Trinidad and Tobago was a little bit loose with their chances. They had opportunities, especially in the first half, to really put that game away early. Couldn't do it, were able to do it later on in the second half. Malika Moray will officially be on. Moral will come off for Guadalupe. Fifth change used by Guadalupe. Odd change is also used by Puerto Rico. Ball over the top. They're looking for a fifth. Held up now, played forward by Cologne. One of the few players in that attacking end that has played the whole way so far for Puerto Rico. Tenacia Cologne. Erin Smith getting her first real touches of this game after coming on for Puerto Rico. Dropping it back to Iriarte. Smith will look for options. Cologne. Beautiful ball to the left side to pick out Susanna Roberts. Roberts bursting towards the box. Double teamed. Looks for help. Lays it in the middle. Attempt to return the pass there is broken up. By Valeri. Gonzalez. Cologne. Fakes the cross, drops it back for Estefania Gonzalez. Cross from Gonzalez. Skips through, chance at the far post. Broken up, still loose. Finally smothered by Cabarrus. Roberts was the intended target of that cross. It was another good ball from Gonzalez. It drifted wide left from her center position. Gonzalez. Combination there with Chenez, who scored the fourth Puerto Rico goal All in the, the 73rd minute. And we have still a few more minutes to go. So Give away. Grace much. Burns. Turns it right back over. Gonzalez's pass is blocked, and now a chance to counter into that space that she vacated. Etchard on the move. Track back there from Grace Burns. Looking fresh, 79 minutes into her night. Turn right back over that. A little bit sloppy here from Puerto Rico in the last few minutes. Ball just knocked out. As once again, there's an injury helping to stretch is Aaron Smith, as well as Etchard. That's the core sign that is probably cramping for Baronian, who's been down a few times in this match. See the way she's breathing, it's definitely the pain associated with a cramp. That's a problem you can fix, though. Glad it's not a more permanent injury. A kickoff was in the high 80s. The wind has not been as much of a factor in this second game as it was in the first game. We'll carry Baronian off. See, face grimacing in pain.
Favors into the Puerto Rico throw in here in the 81st minute. Gonzalez, another nice switch of play. Once again, enough done defensively by DeVronde. Should prevent that attack from amounting to much, but Puerto Rico still trying. We will throw in. Second time we've seen that today. We'll give the ball back to Guadalupe. for Guadalupe. They try and get something out of this match. Puerto Rico will lead this group as things stand now after one match day. Four goals in their account. Three scored by Trinidad and Tobago in their win earlier. 3-0 over the Cayman Islands. All four of these teams in this group have shown good things. Turn that out of the question that the order after round one will be a different order after round two. This Puerto Rico side has looked the best of the four though. Early returns. Turned over though, just as I say that. Chance to run now for Lubli. Into the box, beats one defender, saves it, plays it across. Oh, he's only had one player in support though, and it's cleared. Long shot, one hops. And that's when we'll make the save. Gonzalez. Left back. Works it left for Cologne. Keen it on for Burns. Nice back heel to pick out the run of Cologne. Quite on the same page though. Recovered though. Bending shot and just wide. That was not a bad idea. Susanna Roberts saw the gap in the defense. Had a nice bending shot that didn't miss the target by too much. I've been impressed with Puerto Rico's depth. Chanea scored a goal off the bench, and now Roberts creating something really nice. <laughs> Didn't miss by much. Gonzalez, turning it over. Lou Lee will start the counter again. Again, a little bit of space here developing for Guadalupe. That pass has been played. Would have been five yards offside though. Good regroup. Defensive work from Cologne, who's played the whole way for Puerto Rico to track back and break that up. Well done. So that's appreciated by her teammates and coach. Now space again for Gonzalez to make something happen. Chooses the direct ball. Too far this time. Covered by Cabarrus here in the 85th minute. Guadalupe still trying to build out of the back. Losing possession. Gonzalez again in that holding spot. Pick up the ball. Taken away though by Lubli. Gonzalez. And that looked like it hit the hand coming up of Chinea. Will be a free kick for Guadalupe. Yeah. 
Again, the schedule for Monday, Guadalupe will play Trinidad and Tobago at three. And the Cayman Islands will face Puerto Rico at six. That's the second match day of three. And then we'll finish Wednesday here in Group D. Cayman Islands, Guadalupe at three. Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago at six. Will that be to decide the group? Very well could be based on what we saw on day one. That's 6 p.m. match between Puerto Rico and Trinidad and Tobago. Two decisive wins. Header there just over. Just there from Fabiolo Martinez. You can see the fatigue for Lubli, number six in green. She has worked hard. A good cross played in by Grace Burns from the left side. Force there, gives away a throw in to Puerto Rico. Larry is another player that's had to work hard since coming on. Well, Smith hits that one, that's a rarity. <laughs> She's had an excellent match today. See both teams losing that precision as fatigue sets in. Long shot, one hopped off the left foot of Etcher into the gloves of Iriarte. Ball into space. It's on side, on the left side for Colon. Looking for a second goal, lays it off. Nice footwork and a chip over the bar. That one never really sank in time for Jocelyn Chinea. Lefty strike. Don't forget it was Valeri hustling to defend that and make it more difficult certainly for Chinea to get an open shot. Short long, once again the plan, but once again there's Martinez, or Gonzalez, excuse me, to win it for Puerto Rico. Dribbling exhibition here, and what a finish. Individual effort to score for Fabiola Martinez, and it's 5 0 in the 88th minute. Again, I think just heavy legs from Guadalupe. It didn't really play that ball out of the back with any kind of conviction. And Martinez, who's been fairly fresh, able to bury the fifth goal. So once again, extending that lead and goal difference, they're now two over Trinidad and Tobago's plus three at plus five. And that could be the difference. Again, just the group winner advances. Second place does you no good, so you can Add that goal difference, put yourself in the best possible position, more power to you. Burns misses. Two goals from the Puerto Rico bench, Chene in the 73rd, Martinez in the 80th after the starters got the ball rolling. Kennedy Garcia in the 12th minute. Anasia Colon, who's still in the game and is still looked pretty fresh in the 39th minute. And then Estefania Gonzalez, the captain, in the 52nd minute. That doesn't even account for the performance of a player like Madison Krakauer, who assisted on the first goal, was subbed out at the half. Ashley McMahon put in a good shift in the midfield as well before being subbed off. And then I thought Sofia Colon Gonzalez had a very good first half. Puerto Rico's got plenty of attacking choices headed into match day two. Foul here. Colon is tripped. Free kick will come for Puerto Rico here in the 90th minute. Good news for both teams as well. We haven't seen a card in this game, so no yellow jeopardy heading into that second match. Vanessa Soto will show the yellow, so <laughs> I jinx things. Yellow is shown to DeVronde in the 90th minute in stoppage time. Never get one when your defenders is on a card. Going to 
Whoop will have work to do against Trinidad and Tobago in that second game. Trying to keep their hopes alive of winning this group outright and advancing. Gonzalez has already scored one beauty in this game. This one, not quite. And that will be the final touch of this one. So Puerto Rico, impressive for the second straight term after making a run to finish fourth in the 2022 cycle. They begin the 2024 under 20 cycle with a five to nothing win on goals by Kennedy Garcia, Anasia Colon, Estefania Gonzalez, Jocelyn Chinea, and finally the sub Fabiola Martinez. Guadalupe put in a good effort. I really liked what they got in the attack from players like Veronian from Lubli, but just not able to get, other than one chance off a corner kick, something that really tested Alondra Iriarte in the goal. So Puerto Rico getting the job done. They will top the group, leading five to nothing back with highlights in the standings in just a moment. And the three points in this group D. And of course, we invite you to come again tomorrow for the next matches here in Stadion Regional San Francisco for the CONCACAF Under-20 Women's Qualifier Series. Here's how we got to a 5-0 result for Puerto Rico. They were really on the front foot from the beginning, forcing save after save from Sephora Cabarrus. Last over the top there from Madison Krakauer, who had an excellent first half before being subbed out. Key blocks as well from the Puerto Rican defense, and then Krakauer making something happen across that found the charging chest of Kennedy Garcia, the opening goal for Puerto Rico, and the winner, as it turned out, coming in the 12th minute. Garcia able to get an angle to shoot as well. Block there from Serene Gustaramak to keep it one nothing. Chance over the top that Devrande was unable to convert. Physical play in midfield as McMahon did well in that hold up roll. Hard push there. This might have been the turning point for Guadalupe. If they get that call, get a free kick there, could have been a totally different game. Instead, it was Puerto Rico continuing to push. Chance there just falling at the feet of Jessica Torres. And across that Krakauer just could not quite get the angle to direct on target. Still one nothing at this point, but that changed thanks to some excellent hold up play from Kennedy Garcia. Laying it off with a pinpoint finish from Anasia Colon. Two nothing, Puerto Rico in the 39th minute. Free kick late in the half from Lubli goes wide. Cologne forcing a save, well done there. Cabarrus, Cologne once again, wrong footing the goalkeeper and just missing wide. And then the goal of the night, a free kick beauty from Estefania Gonzalez. Three nothing Puerto Rico in the 52nd minute. This was one of the best chances for Guadalupe on the night. And then this chance was maybe their best of the second half. Gonzalez getting her head on that one, unable to get the leverage to knock it down. And then ball sits at the far post just long enough to be cleared by Guadalupe. Battle continued, corner kick played in. Once again, Gonzalez the target, foul whistled on her, though she was able to head it in. And then the fourth goal, finished by Chinea, created by Cologne, that coming in the 73rd minute. Four nothing Puerto Rico at that point, an easy save. Once again for Iriate as she preserved the shutout. And then a bender that missed just wide from the dangerous Susanna Roberts. And finally, individual skill and a finish in the 88th minute from Fabiola Martinez. That's the fifth and final goal of the night for Puerto Rico. They take this one five to nothing over Guadalupe. An eventful first day here in Group D. 
Puerto Rico riding the goals of Garcia, Colon, Gonzalez, Chinea, and Martinez to victory Guadalupe. Still time to salvage this. It's just the first game of three in the group, but work to do for them as they head towards that second match day against Trinidad and Tobago. That game at 3 o'clock on Monday. And then we'll have the Cayman Islands and Puerto Rico at 6 o'clock. That's the second game. Here's the live table. Puerto Rico tops things on goal difference. They're plus five with three points. Trinidad and Tobago sitting second. They have three points as well. Work to do for the Cayman Islands and Guadalupe. But again, they're facing the top two teams. Just flipping the matchups from today on Monday. So they have a chance to get back level in this race to win Group D and advance to the next round of qualifying. So Puerto Rico, impressive. Their depth, their finishing, they shut out Guadalupe tonight by the final score of five to nothing. Once again, for our great team here in Curacao, my name is Michael Minnick. Thanks so much for watching and good night.